Hello. Hello. Ooh, can I get a little higher? <laughs> <laughs> My shoes. <laughs> oh, difficult. All right. Ah, oh, perfect. So, I'm Natty, and I'm 12 years old. And you might be thinking, wow, she doesn't look like she's 12 years old. But that's because I'm embodying the fantasy of what I hope adulthood looks like. <laughs> March 6, 2006. Is it bad to want to be beautiful? Sometimes that's all I want, to look in the mirror and see what I want to see. Some days I am happy with my looks, but other days I want to break down and cry. Is this all wrong? Does this make me a shallow person? My whole life, mom's tried to make me think that looks don't matter. She never says I look beautiful or even pretty. The problem is, <laughs> looks do matter. Here in middle school, <laughs> they do. Looks and guys, sometimes that's all that's ever on my mind. Is this all wrong and bad? But most importantly, am I pretty, beautiful, hot, sexy? Love ya, Natty. <laughs> Ugh, not the shoes. I was walking down the hallway after help, and I passed the big windows to the library, and on a computer by the window was a 7th or 8th grade guy. And as I passed, he placed his hands on the glass and just stared at me with the sort of happy look on his face. I am so irritated. I want to know why. Did he think I looked good or bad? Ah! I want to know what guys think of me. Are they just laughing? I get looks from older guys, but I don't know what they mean. Love ya, Natty. <laughs> Today, we went to Cold State Park. It was so much fun. I hung out with all the girls from my lunch table. <laughs> we laid on blankets and read magazines. Then the bad boys came over. <laughs> they kept annoying us, but in a funny, flirty way. <laughs> John is such a player, the worst of them all. I was standing next to the blanket because he had come and laid down next to Emily and I, so we got up, and he says, Hey, Natalie, come sit down with me, with one of his sick grins. No, thanks, I said, and flipped my hair and walked away. Love ya, Natty. about the John thing, and you just have to hate it, but you've just got to love it. <laughs> when Sally came over to our blanket, she looked at me and said, you look different. My hair's messy, I offered. No, she said, you look really happy. <laughs> Today was the first day of summer. I had on a great outfit. Even my underwear matched my cami. <laughs> the whole thing had such a subtly sexy look. It was beautiful. And can you think of the one person I did this all for? Frederick. <laughs> yes! That wonderfully hot guy I just have to love. The one who stripped down to his Boxers and truth or dare, yes, the flirty, funny Frederick Atkinson. <laughs> Love ya and Frederick. Taller than me? 
it's hard. I'm really tall. <laughs> Funny, athletic, nice, obviously. Cares. Not obsessed with popularity, but popular's okay. <laughs> not self-absorbed, not self-absorbed. Loving. I hope I can find some good guys in Rhode Island because these New Hampshire guys are just so hot. Love ya, Natty. <laughs> is only one thing that I truly want, and that is a kiss. <laughs> a romantic relationship, a kiss. Sometimes it drives me crazy. I just want someone who will care about me and love me, someone who I can have fun with, who I can jump into his arms, who will hold me, kiss me, I can't end up like Alex. That's my sister. I won't. I will go out there and get what I want. I will be happy. And I will be kissed. <laughs> Love ya, Natty. <laughs> Natalie Norris Wardlaw, age 13. Birthday, August 12th. Hair, long waist. Gold, not blonde. Eyes, green. Weight, redacted. Face, soft looking, pale. Waist, redacted. Let's keep it that way. Bust, get bigger. Hips, get wider. Height, get taller. Be Alex. <laughs> Favorite book, click series, and other. Who else? <laughs> Favorite movie, Memoirs of a Geisha, Step Up, and Titanic. <laughs> I have to say, I do get a lot of looks from guys, whether it's teenagers or old men. I can tell they're looking. As I've gotten older, the guys that work at stores like Hollister are nicer. They smile at you in a flirty way. Even mom says she sees guys looking at me. And yet, why don't I have a boyfriend? Do I intimidate the guys in my grade, or am I just unappealing, or worse? Am I imagining this all? Finally. We finally went last night and got our cell phones. I am so excited. <laughs> I figured out how to do just about everything. But even though I'm so happy and everything, I still can't stop thinking about one, well, actually two questions. What do boys think of me? And what do I really look like? <laughs> I know I shouldn't be thinking so much about what other people think of me, but am I hot? <laughs> Sexy? Beautiful? Lame? Unattractive? I just wish that I could be able to see myself through boys' eyes. Love ya, Natty. P.S. Jenna and I have started doing Pilates. <laughs> I am so annoyed, annoyed that if I am good looking, I still can't get any guys where I live. So, mom, Alex, and I were in Times Square last weekend, and we got so many compliments. One walking out of a bar, another from this guy who actually started following us, saying, hey sugars, blah, blah, blah. Then, the last was actually just directed at me. These two young guys came walking by, and one said, looking at me, Hey, gorgeous. Oh my god! <laughs> now it's happening in Florida, too! I'm on spring break. Guys, I obviously don't know, smile, say hi, and just stare. It feels so good. Almost as good enough to cancel out how bad it feels to have no admirers back home. Almost. Love ya, Natty. This 
is one entry. I don't know if it should be put down on paper. Because if everything goes wrong, then how could I bear knowing that my true feelings would forever be documented in this book? <laughs> that is why I should just say it straight out. Okay, I'll just have to stop and think for a moment about how to say this. Well, I think I'm kind of in love with Zach. There, <laughs> I said it, it's written, and it'll never be erased. I've always liked him every summer, but I don't know, this time it's not just a little crush. I really feel like I want to be with him. But then there's Trisha, Alex and my good friend, but yet, I think that Zach might like her. Everyone loves Trisha, guys and girls. I could never compete with her. Yet, after the dance, where I honestly thought that Zach was watching me, I've been feeling more and more like he might actually like me. Hmm. Five days later, I don't like Zach anymore. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> he kissed me on the cheek during Truth or Dare. I just don't feel anything for him anymore. <laughs> Connor is so hot. That's it. There's no explaining it. He was talking to Trisha and I, and he said that her baby doll shirt was slutty because anyone could get up it. Then he said that mine was good not too loose or too tight. He pulled it up a little, and I did feel something for him. Problem is, he's three years older, and could have any girl he wanted. Natty. <laughs> this is many months later. What do I want? Out of all the problems this year, what do I really want the outcome to be? If a genie offered me three wishes, what would they be? I don't know, sure. I'd ask for the obvious. Look perfect. <laughs> be rich. <laughs> but what is the third thing that I really need? You know what I want? I want Jennifer to go to hell. And then I want to go and make out with Frederick, Zach, David, and why not throw in Roberto and Evan? And that is what I motherfucking want! <laughs> Sucks for me, that is definitely not going to happen, except Jennifer going to hell, because that is inevitable. <laughs> but come on, I need at least one guy, although all six of them would be nice too. <laughs> I mean, how can it be that I'm like the only girl who doesn't at least have a guy who likes me, let alone a boyfriend? I know, be nice and talkative, but how can I even talk to a hot guy when my friends freaking ostracized me? I mean, God, those bitches! I don't even know where to begin. This year has been hell, which is precisely why Jennifer deserves nothing more than to burn in it. <laughs> Okay, OMG. <laughs> I should honestly like write into Seventeen for embarrassing moments. So, Mr. Alberts has been so pissed at me lately. I mean, he was two seconds away from sending me to the office. But today, I was sitting next to Ian with Anna across from us, and we were just talking when it was pretty quiet. Anna started asking Ian about the bandage on his knee. He said it involved him on his bike with little kids and swords. But then he started pulling back the bandage, and I just flipped out, and I was like, Ian, put it away! I don't want to see it! <laughs> and the whole class stopped <laughs> and turned to stare, and let's just say that Mr. Albert's head just about popped off. He flipped out, but then he paused, and giving us a look that could kill, he said, Ian, keep it appropriate. <laughs> it must have taken all the self-control he had to say it so calmly. And Ian was like, what? I was just taking off a band-aid. <laughs> 
we basically just sat there with our mouths open. It was so hilarious. Love you, Natty. LOL. LMAO. <laughs> Natalie loves to sing Red Hot Chili Peppers, dance like a stripper, run when there's no one to catch her, ride roller coasters over and over again, wander through the rain without a purpose, cuddle with Dublin, write about things only she can imagine, draw like her eyes are finally open, <laughs> bake so that people appreciate her, <laughs> sleep until noon, stay up when there's nothing to do, watch movies that make her cry, attempt to do the splits, forget about tomorrow and close her eyes and drift away to the castle in the sky. Thank you. <laughs>